own baggies and oversee the filleting and packaging of the fish. That way, when I get back to the States, I won't have a single 10-pound lump of frozen fish. Also, I give the guy a couple of bucks. That way, he'll take care of my fish when I'm not around. Let's say you want to come down and enjoy some of this fast fishing action. Well, you won't have to mortgage the house in order to get the proper tackle. Any guy from Little Rock, Arkansas or Escota, Michigan can come down, rent all the equipment they'll need from any of the hotels in the area. However, if you're like me, you're going to want to bring some of your own tackle or one of everything. The most useful piece of equipment you're going to bring down is your 30-pound rod and reel. This will handle everything except a big blue marlin or the big bottom bruisers. I've caught plenty of striped marlin on 30-pound test and below. This is a TLD 15 spooled with 30-pound test. However, any reel that holds 300 to 350 yards of 30-pound test and has good drag washers will do the trick. My next most popular rod and reel is a spinning rod. This is spooled with 20-pound test. It's a pin 650. However, any spinning reel that has good drag washers and has 200 to 250 yards of line capacity will do the trick. Next, you're going to want to be bringing a trolling rod. If you know you're going to be after blue marlin, bring an international or some equivalent reel. The new two speeds have revolutionized big game fishing and I highly recommend them if you're serious about battling big fish. This is the pin 30 wide spooled with 60 pound test. However, if I know I'm going to be after bottom fish, I'll spool it with a 100 pound test in order to provide the extra abrasion resistance when they drag me down into the rocks. The next two rods and reels are my favorite, a 20 pound and a 15 pound. These are really all you need for everything you're going to catch. I enjoy fighting fish on these more than any other rod and reel combination. This is the new Daiwa reel spooled with 25 pound test and this is the TLD5 spooled with 15 pound test. It's a blast to take fish on these rods and reels. Now, let's take a look at some of our terminal tackle. Probably the most useful lure in all of Baja is the minnow imitating lure. This is the Rapala and this is the L-Jack. I personally find the L-Jack a little more durable and tracks a little better. However, that's not to take away anything from the Rapala. Both will catch fish and both will catch just about any fish that swims in these waters. Next, feathers, or plumas as they call them down here. These are extremely useful and will take Dorado, Bonito, any number of fish, tuna, just about anything will eat these squid imitating lures. Yellow and green, red and white, and this, the squid imitating with some mylar strips in it are very effective on just about anything that swims. If you're going to be fishing for marlin, bring down a couple of marlin type lures. Probably 80% of all the fish caught here are taken on two colors, green and white, the mackerel pattern, or red and yellow, the bleeding mackerel pattern. I recommend bringing both. This is a doorknob style lure. It's very effective when trolled at high speeds. However, the problem is getting your captain to make the boat go fast enough to get these lures to pop the way they're supposed to. In that case, I go to the pusher heads. They're very effective when trolled at somewhat slower speeds. However, both will take fish, the pusher head and the doorknob. Another style of lure that is very popular is the popper. These are peely poppers. When properly worked, they pop across the surface and drive the fish into a feeding frenzy. There are numerous other lures that have their place down here in Baja. At the end of my tape, I list a directory of fishing tackle stores in the Southern California area that'll help you properly equip yourself to go after whatever species are in the area that you're going to be fishing. Lead-headed jigs, candy bars, and all the other styles of lure certainly have their place here in Baja. Now, let's take a look at some of the other terminal tackle you'll be using. Another thing you're gonna want is leader material. 50, 80, 100, 120, and 250 pound test leader are probably necessary, although the most useful are 50 to 